Another huge piece of undeveloped property in the KC Metro is going up for sale in Clay County. This is a Fox 4 follow up to a real estate story we reported recently. One group's made the decision to sell now 2,000 plus acres of land. Fox 4's Jacob Kittlestadt joins us live from the Northland now overlooking the newest spot up for sale from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Jacob. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. Behind me is about 533 acres. We're on the border with Liberty, not too far from the KC downtown, that area. And, you know, although we know nothing's going to be cropping up here overnight, any development in the near future in this area would be transformational. The space in current use is farmland surrounded by overgrown woods. Southeastern border is formed by Shoal Creek Parkway, while I-435 and 152 Highway contain most of the property to the north. It's a giant footprint just off major off-ramps. Developers have been reaching out to the ownership of these properties and, and asking them, you know, what can we do? Can we get something done? Can we get something done? And they said, no, you know, we're holding the land, we're holding the land. Well. You know, now now they're ready to sell. This land joins another 1,800 plus acres in Lee's Summit, put up for sale recently by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That property is along I-470 on the north side of town. It takes a few years to develop it, to put the streets in and, and, and more, but um, there's a lot of interest in Lee Summit, um, four single family homes and four subdivisions. And in Clay County, development possibilities are still in the realm of the imagination. What do you think this could look like if developed, you know, in the next decade or so? It's such a, you know, unique piece of property that I think it's going to be forced to uh, make the developer make this a high-end deal, um, both residential, both high-end retail and things of that nature and, and things that are important to the surrounding communities that can benefit them. Heck, there's not even a sign on the property yet. So, um, it, you know, there's a lot of things that go into this. And, uh, and I think that these things take time as well. So a developer would need to provide plans to the county and they'd likely be pursuing incentives as well. And as for the land out here, well, it would need infrastructure. We're talking sewers, water, but if there is movement out here, that would be a lot of land movement in Clay County, Lauren and Kevin. Yeah, big changes. still pretty raw out there, Jake. I guess the big question though is how much would a piece of property like that cost? Well, you know, Kevin, this isn't something like a house where you can just go look on Zillow and get a feel for it. That would likely be a big conversation with the realtors between a lot of other different people with just a lot of moving parts, as you may expect. Jacob Kittlestead, live in Clay County. Thank you.